What's up guys, MMA Game here, bringing you another video. As you can see, we are playing some career mode in UFC 3. We got Mickey Gall. We will be taking him through career. This is the opening scene right here, so check it out. You got Steven Thompson. It's pretty cool because they actually put the fighter in some of these cutscenes here. Check it out. You'll see Mickey Gall coming up. Yo, yo, well, with the back fist. Where is he? He's coming. He's coming for the UFC champ. He's coming for that belt. Mickey Gall, there he is. Walking through the dust. But anyway, guys, this is the career mode. As you can see right there, you start out in the WFA. It's like an under, under league, a minor league right there. And what you do is you got to fight your way through this to get into the UFC. So I put it on the toughest difficulty. And um, it, I think the toughest difficulty you can put it on is pro. But then later on you can uh, unlock insane. Um, I think to achieve different types of uh, challenges or whatnot. But right here it's Mickey Gall's debut match. In the WFA, he's got no stats. It starts your stats pretty low. But look at that. Boom! Starting it off with a beautiful body kick. Catch to punch counter right there with Mickey Gall. And if you don't know, Mickey Gall has a little bit better submissions. So, you know, look look to see. I was messing with the stand-up at first. This is the AI. So... I don't have a ton of experience fighting the AI, but I sort of like to feel them out and see what they do. Um, what I've noticed about the AI, especially at the higher difficulty levels, right there, as you I can, can just see, he actually checked the kick, the leg kick. That's one thing I think they're a little bit too good at, is actually checking the leg kicks, because if you put it on like pro or insane difficulty they pretty much check every leg kick like automatic from from my experience let me know if, if you guys are uh experience something different but yeah guys uh the game is out now on ea access and it should be out uh for championship edition uh pretty soon as well and then the full game comes out on february 3rd so cannot wait to get all you guys online i will be giving away codes as well um, that is codes for the full game on Xbox and PS4. Uh, I don't know when I will be actually doing that, but follow me on Twitter. I'll be probably giving away at least one or two of them on Twitter. So head on over to my Twitter account and follow me over there. And I'll also be announcing when, if I'm doing it on a stream, I'll probably be doing it either on a YouTube or Twitch stream. But right there, he rocks me with the head kick. So I get the takedown with Mickey Gall. Now it's time for the grappling. And if you guys noticed what they added to the ground game for the single player modes, I believe, is a little arrow that pops up when, you, when you're trying to deny. Also, it'll show you in your grappling HUD on the right right there. Uh, it'll show you which way to defend the transition, but it didn't show it right there because it's the end of the round So uh, that's a little thing they added there So pay attention to that if you what you want to do is like when your opponents on the ground if you just hold r2 In a uh, wait for him to go to a transition It'll show on your grappling HUD, but look at this. He's rocking me It'll show on your grappling HUD which way you need to defend the transition and it'll also give you a big arrow Right on the screen. You can probably turn that off if you don't like it but it's uh, I actually liked it uh, especially with some of the new transitions that are in the game and uh, getting used to which direction to deny those So uh, that's a good thing that they added I think especially to the single player to get people to just learn that uh, Grappling a little bit more. I will be doing more tutorials on the grappling as well more advanced tutorials to help you guys out But right here Mickey Gall is just in a war right here gets rocked in his debut match and the, the AI comes in to try to finish me off, but I'm just in the pocket. I'm, I'm sitting there winging shots, getting body shots, but all my strikes really don't have that much power. So we go for the takedown, but it does not work. Mickey Gall, I, this is a rough start to his career. He's getting tagged up. He's bloodied, and uh, he's in big trouble in this career. And now he's in the Muay Thai clinch. Boom, getting knee to the body. That's brutal. You can't take those. You want to stop knees? 
you hold both triggers in the clinch guys and if you want to sh uh, stop strikes to the head just hold r2 but to do knees uh, head knees or uh, shots to the body hold both triggers down and it'll get a block on that and then what you want to do is go for a transition if you can and get on out of that position either either break the clinch or go for a single collar clinch to get out that that's the your best bet but right here i'm in mount and what you want to do in mount is you just want to chill you want to look to block a strike and then transition but he wasn't really striking so i pulled him back down into um uh, mount bottom or mount uh, posture down and then i was able to transition out so now we got him pinned up against the cage look at that almost need me in the head right there as i duck down i don't know if that's actually possible but I hope it is, and that would be just deadly. And look at this. Going to town on me. Mickey Gall is in big trouble in his debut match. I mean, I I mean, I don't think I'm really winning this fight. So we gotta definitely pull something out of our out of our bag of tricks right here with Mickey Gall and WFA. I'm getting rocked left and right. Look at that wobbling around. Big shot to the body. This AI is no joke. This again is pro difficulty. It's the it's the most difficult you can put for career mode. I do. Oh, look at that shot. Oh, I ducked down into the uppercut. That was lethal. A lethal counter right there from my opponent. But Mickey Gall is somehow still in it to win it. Looking to get something going, and we land a nice uppercut off the sway. Get a drop. But again, he is able to recover, get back to his feet, and that is the end of round number two. My opponent. This is some UFC 3 action. If you guys enjoyed this video, want to see more career mode videos, let me know in the comments. And also with the likes, hit that notification bell button for more. Uh, to be notified of all the new uploads, we will be having a few, quite a few videos coming out for UFC 3. But I get rocked in round number three. Mickey Gall, um, overall with the career mode, I would say I enjoyed it more. I think it was still a little bit, um, well, I think it's actually, it takes a pretty long time. I think they said like about eight hours to complete it. So I really have only put about maybe a couple hours into this career and it's, um, it gets a little bit repetitive with the training camps and stuff, but I really haven't explored it a lot and got to really sprawl and really build my fighter and learn a lot of moves, so I'm really not sure yet, so I'm going to wait off to, to give my full review, but right here, Mickey Gall, I get him down, I get him in that arm triangle, and uh, he's in big trouble right here. Mickey Gall is no joke with the jujitsu. If you saw his fights, he is uh, the real deal, and he I'm going to sink in that choke. He's really got nowhere to go, and Mickey Gall, oh, he, he gets the job done. He gets the tap, makes his debut in WFA, a huge submission win in the third round, so now we're picking our next fight right here, boom, there we go. We got our next fight, and then there's the gym. We have to use our basement. There's a bunch of gyms in the game, but you have to start with your basement gym. I'm putting in the amount of weeks. I only put two weeks for some reason, or <laughs> so I really didn't um, really have a good idea of like which how how many to choose. There's probably a strategy to all that, but you know I don't really know. If you if you only have enough money for a certain amount of weeks. That's one thing, but you also don't want to overtrain. You can actually overtrain in this game, and you can get your um, your your fitness like you know higher than 100 and you can you know it can start to hurt you because you're you're overtraining but right here i'm wasting no time with this guy get him in the muay thai get a knee rocking back but now he's in the pocket throwing boxing combinations but look at this mickey gall he shoots him for a takedown i don't think so mickey gall gets the sprawl and look at this he's going for the neck it's a japanese necktie how did he learn these? Who is this guy in the WFA? Mickey Gall. Now, I will say something about submissions, guys. As uh, I get this guy, I do think the submissions still need to be fixed. I think they're a too hard to get out of. I think they did uh, alter them a little bit, but I think they still do need to get fixed. Definitely 
but check this out this guy is in big trouble mickey gall gets his second win in ufc 3 career mode will he be headed to the ufc sometime soon guys make sure to let me know if you want to see more of this series and find out what happens to mickey gall in his run to become the ufc champion we're not even in the ufc yet but that's the video guys hope you enjoyed it. if you did make sure to leave a like also follow me on twitch tv and twitter ufc3 hype it's here boys till next time this has been mma gay peace